All right, let's try one more. What is the net force on an object that's experiencing a pull of 5 newtons to the north, a push of 3 newtons to the south, and a pull of 2 newtons to the east? Well, the way I would do this is I would make a vector diagram to help me out. We have an object feeling a full of pull of 5 newtons to the north, a push of 3 newtons to the south, 1, 2, 3 to the south, and a pull of 2 newtons to the east. What is the net force? Well, all I have to do is add up the vector sum of all those. I've already lined them up tip to tail, so if I want the vector sum, I draw a line from the starting point of the first to the ending point of the last. If I broke this up into components, I would have 2 newtons to the east, and if I had 5 up and 3 back, I must have 2 newtons north. If I want the magnitude of that net force, that's just going to be the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared, or 2.83 newtons. And the angle, of course, I don't even have to go to trig. If it's 2 to the right and 2 up, angle is going to be 45 degrees. Hopefully that gets you started with Newton's first law. It's a very simple concept, but a very important one in physics. Thanks for watching Educator.com. Make it a great day.